しておけないな。Another fire episode of my isekai life. And after all that, like, I literally yelled out. I was like, yo, Yuji, after all that, after a whole entire day of Yuji playing the broke adventure, the broke adventure doesn't know anything, like, stumbling, saying sorry, running into people, after him, like, performing, like, a Golden Globe winner performance. He just ends up freezing these two assassins because he's like, oh, they threatened the priest, but he waited. You know, obviously he waited till after the two assassins reported that Yuji was no longer a threat or whatever. After that happened, he literally just like uses some freezing magic and just like, he just freezes these two assassins. And I was like, yo, really, Yuji? After all that, after that whole day, that's how we do these two? And I love, I love that we had all this build up for like two seconds of just what the, like just like you know freeze. And I was like, oh my gosh, he just freaking sub zero them. I thought that was just absolutely hilarious. And I guess we're not gonna see those two assassins anymore. Now, the things that I don't know and I'm not sure of is. If he went and procured it, because he had a slime following them, so I don't know if he procured them, kind of like how he did the、uh, like the other assassins for the Blue Moon group. Like I don't know if he like basically like has them in like some kind of、uh, like slime corridor or like the slimes absorb them to go and turn them in later. I don't know if he did that or not. It was very unclear. I would assume that he, if he is gonna turn them in, because I assume that these two assassins are probably have a pretty big bounty on their heads. I assume that if he is going to turn them in, he'll probably wait a while because, you know, his name would probably be associated to turning them in. Maybe. I'm not really sure how that would work. We'll probably see more of that down the line. Maybe not even next episode, but eventually we'll probably see, like, oh, hey, there's that bounty for those two. I actually ha- have them in my, in, my slime, in my slime cabinet or whatever. You know, let me, let me get them out and the slimes will just spit them out or something in the future. So this episode. That's really all that really happened if you think about this episode. This episode is really just the two assassins following Yuji for the whole day. And then the last, like, 20% of the episode was finding out that the Blue Moon group is, I guess, not attacking, but they're singling out the father or the priest that Yuji had associated with before. They think that he's the one kind of conspiring against the, the, the group, which I guess in a way is kind of true, but all the things that have happened recently have all been Yuji's fault.、Uh, we got to see that, that, they're, that they had a heavy blow dealt to them by the whole Messiah's people getting like totally wiped off the map. So that's going to be interesting as we kind of move forward. Yuji now is going to move on to the next arc, and we kind of got introduced to what's going to happen on the next episode, which is, I guess. A dragon and like a volcano. I'm assuming that the guy, because Yuji at the end of the episode went to the armor dude, you know, and said, Hey, I need armor for my slimes. And he's like, Yo, I don't have anything that I could do. So I'm assuming that his next, his next task is going to be to go maybe defeat that dragon or the person or, you know, go procure some kind of、uh, elements or materials or something in that volcano. And maybe he, maybe the dragon isn't. The one that they need to get materials from. The dragon might be the one guarding the materials. But regardless, he's going to have to go get materials so that this dude can build up the armor for his slimes and or defeat the dragon and get the dragon materials. Or maybe he, he, maybe there's materials and dragon materials. Maybe there's both that he has to go defeat and bring back. And maybe, maybe Proud Wolf will get、um, you know, some armor too. Speaking about Proud Wolf, I love how we got the. Backstory for Proud Wolf as well. This anime, one of the things I really like about the anime is, is, is if you guys have been around the channel, I'm not a big fan of backstories at all. I actually really don't like backstories. But one of the things the anime has done really well is like it's just shown us Yuji on his adventures. And then as needed, it's shown us, like, okay, here's how he met the dryad. Here's how he met the slimes. Here's how he got the magic. Here's how he met Proud Wolf. And we find out this episode that Proud Wolf was like a. Alpha, alpha wolf in the forest, and he attacked Yuji 
And when Yuji, you, you know, totally embarrassed him and, you know, binded him, uh, we saw and heard through his telepathy that Proud Wolf was like, no, don't kill me. I'll do whatever you want. He's like, you, you want to be like, you want to just like, you want me to tame you? He's like, yes, please, please, master, tame me. Uh, and ever since then, Proud Wolf was like, yo, I'm, I am, I am. I'm a peasant. I have no fighting ability. And this episode, he, he kind of got to show his stuff a little bit uh, and defeat the bulls and everything. And I thought that was a really cool moment for Proud Wolf because he's like, he's the comedic relief a little bit sometimes. So I really enjoy uh, enjoyed seeing that as well. But overall, really good episode. If we had to slap a score on it, I would say this is a 7 out of 10 episode. Nothing that blew me away. Still really enjoyable. Really loved the reactions and the facial expressions of the two assassins. I loved how when he pulled out his sword, they were just like, like they were they had these crazy faces. Like they they had they pan and had these really cool faces in there. Uh, I loved the reactions and I love how we had all this build up for these two characters and Yuji just froze them and that was it. They're they're out the picture now. So really good episode for another another really good episode for my isekai life i would say about a seven out of ten really solid episode nothing to scoff at but nothing that was really you know that crazy just an episode about yuji going about a day in his life as he tries to pretend to be a uh, somebody he's not uh and look forward to what's going to come next for him and his adventuring party of slimes and the wolf so let me know what you guys thought of this episode down in the comments down below as always i appreciate you guys being here for another week of my isekai life and my friends uh i'm gonna see you guys next What's today? Monday? I'm going to see you guys next Monday uh, for my East Sky Life. Peace.